Hey Farmer, are you excited to dive into the 1.6 update? Here's everything that's new in Stardew Valley. Two new menu tabs have been added. An animal menu letting you see how many hearts you have with all your pets and farm animals, as well as a special items and powers menu showing you which wallet items you have, as well as which books and stars you've collected. Books can be bought from Marcelo the bookseller who comes to town twice a season, so make sure to check your calendars to find him and check out his stock. You can find them located behind Joja Mart. There are even signs to show you which direction to go. The 1.6 update now offers skill and power books such as the Stardew Valley Almanac, Bait and Bobber, Woodcutters Weekly, Way of the Wind Part 1, Horse the Book, Old Slither Logs, and a price catalog. A new reading animation plays when you open a book and a notification telling you what you've learned will pop up in the bottom left corner. The skills menu has a new look. You can now keep track of how many rooms you've completed for the community center, your mastery level, farm level, how deep you've gotten down Skull Cavern, and how many star drops you've collected. The map has gotten a refresh. The map now changes with the season you're in and accurately shows you and your friends' locations in real time so you never get lost. A bunch of new craftable items have been added and new ingredients. We now have a new sign option that lets you write text. A bait maker now lets you place fish inside to create specific bait. This item is craftable after fishing skill level 6. A deluxe worm bin makes deluxe bait every day, craftable after reaching fishing skill level 8 and requiring a new ingredient, moss. You can craft your own deluxe bait too. Moss is a new item in the game that can be found all over town and on your farm from trees. You can collect moss by axing or scything trees that are covered in green. There is also a new seed that has a chance to grow into a fiddlehead stalk. A mushroom log works like a mushroom cave producing mushrooms every few days but will only work with wild trees nearby. Different trees will also produce different mushrooms. A tent kit lets you build a one-time use tent to camp for the night anywhere in town. Now you can finally have that slumber party with Linus. Also helpful for not passing out during your mine runs. You can now craft a new bobber, the sonar bobber. Craftable after fishing skill level 6, you can also buy this at Willy's shop for 500 gold. The sonar bobber will show you exactly what fish is hooked, giving you the chance to skip the current catch. There are 8 new achievements. Can you collect them all? The 1.6 update now lets us drink mayo, jelly, and eat pickles. Regular mayo, jelly, and pickles give you 50 energy and 22 health. Fruit trees will now drop saplings for replanting, saving you money and a trip to Pierre's shop. Marnie has new shop items for sale. Now you can buy pet decor for your companion like a doghouse, cat tree, or birdhouse. Doghouses and cat trees can be purchased in two styles, standard and dark. Really great for fitting your aesthetic. You can also have multiple pets now. Just remember to buy additional pet bowls for your new companions. Marnie will let you purchase pet licenses after you have reached max hearts with your starter pet. There are now two new cat and dog variations and we have turtles. You can now buy a catalog from Marnie allowing you to shop on her days off. This catalog is also one of the new books you can unlock. Pierre's shop has got a shiny new recipe, dehydrators. Now you can dehydrate fruit and edible mushrooms to create new artisan goods for recipes, putting those forageables to good use. This also allows inedible fruits to become edible after being dehydrated. Mayor Lewis has a shiny new object in his house. This new prize machine allows you to get random items using tickets, a new form of currency you can earn in the game by completing quests, special orders, and at certain festivals. All my avid fishers are going to be excited about this one. Willy's shop now offers a bobber machine, allowing you to customize how your bobber looks. The randomizer button will change the look of your bobber every throw. Right now, you can choose from 24 options and unlock 15 hidden bobbers. The fish shop has some new items and recipes in stock. You can now craft a fish smoker to create a new artisan good, smoked fish doubling the price of your fish. This recipe requires three new fish species, the river jelly, sea jelly, and cave jelly. Deluxe bait can now be purchased, offering an even faster fish bite and increasing the size of your fishing bar. 
Bream bait can now be purchased to help increase your chances of catching a bream. Largemouth bass bait can now be purchased to help increase your chances of catching a largemouth bass. Jack-o'-lanterns will now be decorated around town after the town fair showing everyone's holiday spirit for Spirit's Eve. The community center fish tank just got an upgrade. After completing the community center, the fish tank will now have fish swimming around giving a livelier atmosphere. Thanks to the 1.6 update, there are now waterfalls all over town and on certain farm maps giving a new, fresher look. Mystery boxes are now introduced in the 1.6 update and are hidden all over Pelican Town. There are different ways to find mystery boxes and if you find one, break them open at the blacksmith shop just like you would a geode. The shipping menu category got a cosmetic upgrade, no longer taking up the whole screen giving you a more uniform look. New changes have arrived at Robin's shop. The building menu now shows you how many days construction will take for each item. You can now purchase and change the appearance of pet bowls. This also includes your starter pets bowl too. New home upgrades are available. You can now build an attic, a cubby, a dining room, and an expanded corner. You can even move the location of your farmhouse now. There are four new cabin styles as well. A new neighbor cabin look, rustic cabin look, beach cabin look, and a Pam-inspired trailer cabin look. The big chest is finally here, giving you two extra rows of space. You can also get the new big stone chest recipe from the dwarf in the mines. The Oasis has new shop items. You can now buy mannequins, both in male and female figures, a coat stand, and a clothesline. The 1.6 update has introduced four new crop seeds, not sold in stores, but only found with a new special artifact spot. These spots have a distinct green color to them, so you can know the difference between your standard artifact spot and the new variant. The Desert Trader has new shop items. You can now buy two variants of the new Midnight Beach Bed option and a dark piano. There are three new festivals. These new festivals do not stop time similar to the night market, so do be mindful of your clock when attending these festivals. They are also held for multiple days. The Desert Festival in the spring lasts for three days. The Trout Derby Festival in the summer lasts for two days. And the Squid Fest Festival in the winter lasts for two days. I'll be making a separate video doing a deep dive of each festival, so stay tuned! We also have a cute new Easter egg. Clicking the little Junimo in the skill screen menu multiple times will give you this cute grassy overlay. Subscribe for more Stardew Valley content if you enjoyed this video.